Hello, I'm Kainton on the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue from tutorial 5 how to assess all elements with a specific attribute. So, at this point, we are trying to query uh, the XML file just like you query an XML file to extract uh, data or records that match a specific attribute. So, that will be our tutorial 5. So, let's call it tutorial 5 how to return elements or records with a specific attribute okay so let's start public void uh, gets records with specific attributes okay so let's take a look at the XML file and see so let's say I want to assess all the elements for the auto um, correct ever because I see correct ever corrects ever okay I want to assess element uh, books written by all the author, uh, all the books written by correct ever. All right, let's see how we are going to do that. Let's take the name to the clipboard. So as usual, you start by um, declaring a new X element. Uh, variable x element x element you can give a name you want is equal to x element dot x elements dot load you specify sorry you specify the name of the file you want to use okay then you now place all the items into a list type or i enumerable type enumerable of x element is equal to x element of elements somehow you just need to learn how to do this easily so we have all the items in the xml file inside this variable called book we are saying that we want to assess um, records based on a, a certain criteria. All right. This time we are going to use a uh, real link to XML query. So we say, well, this is what we normally do. Um, we want to assess all the books written by correct ever um, of a title equal to now this is how to write a link query so the first thing is, is from from book in books so from each of the book in books so the second line will be a where clause where a book or where book dot elements where book dot elements um, auto okay is equal to correct ever okay I'm sure you are following we are book dot element auto equal to correct ever now is giving us an error it cannot be applied to operand of type X element and string so what we are going to do either we say dot to string Okay, we, we also have that value here. So we have that value to return the string. So 
the, the, the last line will now be select book. Okay, so um, so it will be select book. So at this point, we have from book in books where the author is correct ever selects book. So this variable now contains all the books written by correct ever. So as usual, we now have to display the item console the right line books written by correct ever okay so we use a for loop to iterate a for each loop to iterate through this title here let's make it title so that you know it's, it's uh, more than one for each title in for each title in titles okay for each from okay for each x elements in titles okay let's take a look at the previous for loop Maybe we are missing something for each var book in books. Okay, we need to put for each for each title in titles. Okay, so for each title in titles. So let's just print. Uh, the right line we can now write um, title okay so I hope this is a little tricky but it's quite clear let's just put a separator to separate everything and the separator will be just a line so this is going to return all the books written by correct ever Okay, so let's go back to our main program and just use this function that says get record with specific attributes. So just go to your main program, fn.get records with specific attributes. Is this specific attributes? I actually don't want to use this word attributes. Let's say specific criteria. The reason I don't want to use it is because attributes means something else in XML we are going to learn after now so the specific criteria okay so if we go ahead to run this program oh you're giving us error message why console okay dot right line so if I go ahead to run this, you see, so how many books, um, three books written by correct Eva, and let's just select only the title, okay, so title.elements Uh, title so what we are doing here is we are filtering and just taking only the title dot value because let's close this so let's run it and see so now we have only the titles okay the books written by correct Eva. Okay, now you may want to return books written by correct Eva, but you don't really know 
exactly the name you know part of the name so you can use um dot contains so if you use dot contains and specify um let's say we just know uh core let's say core okay so so let's just remove this and see what it returns so now we are querying to see titles that contain just core let's run it and see so it gives us the same thing okay so you can see it's exactly much like sql and it's the appears to be even easier so we have dot value that contains returns where it gets an author that matches where the name matches what is here but previously we have that value equal to this which is also exactly an exact match so if we run it that is what we have so as you mean you want to return authors that have their names that start with C so you can just say start with you can just say C so let's see what it returns at this point for author names that start with C so let's run it and see so we have these books also three books and those three books the author names start with C alright so this is how to get records with specific criteria how to query a record in an XML file I would like to end here remember to subscribe like this video if it's been informative for you if you have comments or questions you want to ask leave it in the comments box below I'd like to thank you for viewing and remember continuing tutorial 6 how to assess elements with specific attributes